Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joy. I am back again with another video. I hope that you guys are doing well and I hope that you guys are staying safe. So you guys, this channel is called Live Narc Free where it is all about getting free and staying free after dealing with the narcissist. So I was actually just thinking about this topic myself, you guys, and I know maybe some of you, you can all let me know if this is something that, um, excuse me, you are dealing with or maybe this is something that you thought about or if you were curious about because I know that I was curious about this many many years ago when this did happen to me when I saw the narcissist with the new supply I would ask myself I would be like well how do I know if this well I didn't even know it was a new a new supply until after I started learning about the abuse but generally speaking how do you tell if the narcissist's new relationship or the new supply is it a rebound or is it a serious relationship? Some of you guys may be curious about that because I know that I was. <laughs> and sometimes it's kind of hard to tell because you guys know that narcissists are very particular in the people that they choose and their targets and their new victims. You know, and sometimes when they love bomb their victims, especially in the beginning stages, they try to make sure they do a really good job so that that new supply can stay with the narc for like a very long time. Like, the narcs that I know and just from things that I've learned is that narcissists like long-term relationships. Like they don't like the, the short-term, you know, type of relationships, you know? And so um, you may be like, well, how do I know if this is a rebound or a serious relationship? So you can usually tell like if the narcissist has a rebound relationship based off of like if they're parading that person around or if they are um, showing that person off a lot on like social media and if they are uh, like rubbing that person in your face, you know, trying to make you jealous and stuff like that. A lot, nine times out of 10, that's a rebound. But even like if it's a serious relationship, the narc could still do that, but it won't be as much to a certain degree. Um, but yeah, rebound, it's like, it's very, it's dramatic. It's like very in your face. It's, it's like, um, it could be like a facade and it could just be based off of the things that they're showing about that new supply. You know, um, it could be like certain pictures that they take or, you know, certain things that they're doing and stuff like that. Or like, you guys know the video that I made, like when the narcissist, like, and I'm going to link that below just in case if you're curious, but, um, Let's say you've been watching a narcissist like Facebook or Instagram and you could see that the narcissist was posting pictures back to back of the new supply, right? And then out of nowhere, you, you see that they stop like for maybe a month or two or maybe a year, then that could be a, a good indication that that was just a rebound. It was like, it was good for the moment. You know, it was exciting. You know, it was charming or it, it was just, it felt good, you know? But, you know, it was just, again, it was a facade. It was all for show. It was fake. It was probably to get back at you, but it was also, you know, um, to secure that new supply as well. But it could have been where, you know, um, that new supply could have waken up to the abuse, or it could have been where the narc could have been mentioning you a lot and maybe it triggered that new supply into saying like, um, they're not over their ex or they're not over you. So uh, let me go out and be with somebody else or let me in this relationship, you know? So um, yeah, like the, it, you can really tell because the narcissist is really gonna like try to like really rub this new person in your face, like a lot. Like they're gonna do over overkill, over dramatic way you know or as sometimes they may even call you and be like hey you know um i have a new girlfriend or i have a new boyfriend and da, 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 da. like maybe they could call you like bragging and stuff like that or trying to um make you upset or make you feel some type of way a lot of times that's that's a rebound you know now if it's a serious well you guys know narcissists aren't really serious they're abusive but <laughs> If it could be a very, very serious or a secure supply, maybe they may post like maybe a couple photos or so, and then that's it. And then maybe you won't hear from the narc for a very long time. Not to say that they're not going to hoover you, but that could be just like maybe the narc just wants you to know that, okay, I'm in a relationship. Like it was your fault and not mine. It's like I'm still with someone and you're not, you know? 
but um yeah or again you may not see the narc posting pictures but you could see like on their facebook like they're in a relationship or something like that you know or that new supply could be posting certain photos or you know and things of that sort and maybe it, they uh tag the narc in it and all that stuff you know so it could really just depend but um most of the time, you guys, when the narcissist is with the new supply, it's usually a rebound. It's, a lot of times, it's not a serious relationship unless that new supply has something that the narcissist wants or that the narcissist can invest in or the narcissist can use and manipulate and devour and conquer, <laughs> you know? that That's usually a lot of times if it's, like, serious, but a lot of times it's not. So most of the time, it will be a rebound, just in case if you're wondering what the signs are and then too you know um it might be a rebound if like you know the new supply is doing most of the posting and then maybe the narc doesn't tag that new supply in certain photos or doesn't really show them off like that or doesn't you know that relationship status on facebook where the narc doesn't post their name or if they just have in a relationship but they don't tag the actual person you know so that could be a good indicator as well um, of it being a rebound because the narc is like oh i'm just using this person or they're just a transitional supply it's not that big of a deal you know what i mean so um but yeah hopefully that was helpful i know it can be devastating to see the narcissist with a new supply i know the feeling that i had many years ago so <laughs> It was not easy, but, you know, I'm glad that I was able to overcome it. Um, but it, I remember when it happened, it was just like, yeah, my heart dropped. <laughs> but, you know, um, that's life sometimes. You, you have to experience the pain and suffering in order to get you to the other side, to healing and recovery, you know. So even if you do see the narcissist with a new rebound or a serious relationship, just remember they're going to get the same mistreatment as you did and you're not missing out on anything and you're dodging a bullet, you know, that new supply rebound or a serious relationship is taking you and protecting you away from that narc, even though the narc still might hoover, but you know, you just want to keep that in mind. But anyway, I hope that, you know, this was helpful and insightful. Um, any other topics, you guys, I would love to know. You can leave them in the description box. Oh, I'm sorry, or in the link below. <laughs> and um, I would love to make a video on it so that way we can all learn. Um, I would also love to know what was you guys' biggest takeaway on this video. And if you did enjoy this video, I'm going to link below the video that I did where I talked about um, it was uh, when the narcissist stops posting pictures of the new supply, like why did they stop all of a sudden? Maybe that could be helpful for you as well. To kind of, you know, understand things and cope and, you know, not to beat yourself up too bad and internalize things that the narcissist is doing. So anyway, I love you guys so much. And until the next time, take care. Bye.